balance budget multiplier. So let's look at this concept. What this concept tells us is if you have an equal increase or equal change in government equals to change in taxation, you will still have some impact on the level of output. In other words, if there's an increase in government spending, which is matched by an increase in taxes, which leaves the budget unchanged, there will be a sort of an expansionary impact on the level of output. If government spending decreases, and that's matched by a decrease in taxes, then you will find that the output will contract. Let's see why that happens in our model. So let's start off with an increase in government spending. If you increase government spending in the economy, there's an increase in your autonomous spending. It's an injection into the economy. That eventually increases the demand for goods and that goes and increases the level of output. What is important is by how much output will increase. In this case, your, your output increases with the multiplier times the change in government spending, which is now an increase in government spending. If you go to taxes, you will see if I increase taxes, that leads to a decrease in the level of disposable income, which then spills over into a decrease in consumption spending, which then decreases the demand and the level of output. But by how much does the consumption spending decrease? It's not by the same amount as the increase in taxes because it's determined by C times taxes. So this change here is smaller than the change in government spending. In other words, your multiplier will start operating from this level, which then gives you your change in output. So what happens here, what households would have spent is what is taken out of the system and not the whole amount of taxes. Therefore, your, your government multiplier is much stronger than your tax multiplier. And therefore, you get a net change in your level of output.